A South Mississippi lawmaker is comparing Governor Phil Bryant's refusal to accept billions of federal dollars to expand Medicaid to Governor Ross Barnett standing in a doorway at Ole Miss to block James Meredith. Representative David Baria was one of the speakers at the Dr. Martin Luther King legislative breakfast this morning. The topic of discussion, health care. Daniel Thomas has the story. For people who wanted to learn more about the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, this was their chance. Having uh, the ability to ask questions, I think there's a lot of uncertainty out there. A lot of people have questions. This year, the committee for a coastwide Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday celebration added a legislative breakfast to the list of events leading up to the King holiday. The main discussion in Bay St. Louis Saturday morning health care. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was always someone who looked out after the poor, the elderly, the sick, and so we felt it very important for us to incorporate health care since that's a big part of our legislative agenda this coming year. State Representative David Beria talked about the challenges that Dr. King faced during the civil rights era. Times have changed in Mississippi, yet there are some the very real similarities to what was going on in the 60s. By looking at what happened in Mississippi in the 60s, Beria says he believes he knows why the current governor and Republicans in the state legislature refused to expand Medicaid for 300,000 Mississippians. Your mind most likely of Governor Ross Barnett standing in the doorway at Ole Miss. No, we're not going to admit James Meredith. And that that's the position that our government was taking with regard to Washington in the 60s. Well, I see this as something very similar because there's no real reason why we wouldn't expand Medicaid and accept uh, $15 billion and create 10,000 new jobs. Other than that, we don't like Obama in the state capitol. In Bay St. Louis, Daniel Thomas, WOX News. Democratic lawmakers say the party is working on a health care proposal they plan to present to the governor.